guys and welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do like a Christmas haul type thing. I went shopping yesterday all day long. <laughs> I went to three different home decor stores and then one like retail store and got a couple things for an upcoming trip. Um, but since we moved into a bigger place, we have more space to decorate. So, hi. Um, so I wanted to go out and get some more things. Um, one of the stores that I went to is called At Home, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's a home decor superstore and it is ginormous. It's huge. They just built it in Pooler and it, I thought it was going to be like a hotel. That's how big it is. Um, and so I went in there and I felt like I died and gone to heaven. <laughs> but a lot of their Christmas stuff was wiped out because they just opened. So that was kind of a bummer. But I went there and I went to Home Goods and then I went to Hobby Lobby as well. And I did really good. So I wanted to share today with you guys what I got and how I decorated my home. So the first couple of items that I picked up are some stockings. Me and Robert decided that we wanted to do some new stockings this year. Um, we actually, our first Christmas together, we actually made our own stockings. So we took like the basic red and white fuzzy stockings and um, decorated them. But there are definitely some good memories, but I'm like, getting to the point in my life where I want things to match. <laughs> I picked up these guys for me and Robert. These are just a basic cream cable knit stocking. They've got some little pom-poms down here on the end. Um, and the reason why I wanted to get these ones for us is because I picked up this little guy for my cat. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, it's got the red and black buffalo plaid and then the cable knit here up at the top with an A for Alice. If you have basic um, stockings and you want to kind of personalize them, just get uh, initial Christmas ornaments and you can, when you hang up your stockings, you can hang up the Christmas ornament in front of it too. So I'm going to get an R and a K for me and Robert. Um, but I picked up Alice's stocking at home. The home decor superstore this little guy was $2.99 and then mine and Robert stockings I picked them up at Hobby Lobby and these were $11.99 um, I have to say I did amazing at Hobby Lobby and right now all of their Christmas decor is 50% off so if you still have Christmas decor shopping to do definitely go to your local Hobby Lobby and check them out so the other things that I have to show you, I have actually already decorated the house. <laughs> we decorated the house maybe like a week ago, last weekend. I believe it was last weekend. Yeah, we decorated last weekend. Um, but I have our house all decorated. We haven't put up Christmas lights yet outside, which we probably won't do until the day after Thanksgiving. Um, so I'm going to show you all the other stuff that I got throughout my house. So I have this vase down at the end of my hallway and for Halloween we put some, don't mind my cat, we put some pumpkins and then the cinnamon broomstick and them. But for Christmas I found these really pretty red flowers that have some silver glitter on them picked up these white branches and then these little glittery silver balls on there and I already had the stuff in the vase um the pine cones were actually from when I worked at Maurice's they were some holiday decor that we were getting rid of and then the rest of this stuff in here this is like potpourri um it doesn't smell anymore but it is really pretty for show so I wanted to do something down here at the end of the hall. Now in our bedroom, I have 
these wine bottles that I actually decorated last year. So I got the label off, I spray painted them, and then I added some little gems on there and snowflakes that I found at Michael's. And then the flowers I found at Hobby Lobby last year. On our bed, I found this plaid blanket yesterday at Home Goods. This blanket was about $30. Uh, and I wanted to incorporate plaid this year and also find something that wasn't super girly. Um, so I got this guy. It's got the red, cream, and gray plaid. And then on the other side, it has the Sherpa. So it is super cozy. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be, but I still think it's really pretty. And then on our bed for a pillow, I got this red cable knit throw pillow it says Mary everything I think it's super cute and I wanted to incorporate red into our room this year so when you walk out to our living room which is the most decorated here is our couch uh, these red pillows with the snowflakes on them I found last year at home goods as well as the Buffalo chair pillow this pillow right here which I love that guy I found this at Hobby Lobby and it was the last one I have some tinsel on our TV stand and then I have these little golden trees at the ends of our TV stand. I actually got these years ago when I went to a Christmas party for a place that I worked at. That little snowman was found at Kirkland's last year and this little deer, which is super cute. He's got a bow up front and then some pearls and some little crochet detail but I got that deer last year at Hobby Lobby I believe you gonna say hi <laughs> so I actually made this bench it was a little DIY project that I did from Lowe's this little piece hanging on the wall I got this last year from TJ Maxx the pillow I actually recently got for fall from TJ Maxx as well. And then the reindeer pillow in the back I got last year at Hobby Lobby. This tree was gifted to us about five, no, three years ago. Um, a friend gifted it to us for actually our wedding present. Um, but I love this little tree. I do eventually want to actually get a bigger green tree, but one of those flocked ones that have the white on it. Um, <laughs> so this tree was from Michael's. The ornaments, the ornaments that I have, the silver and champagne, the burgundy, and then the gold ones were all from Michael's as well. And then these little ornaments that I have, little random ornaments that I have hanging up here are actually um, some of my childhood ornaments that my grandma gave to me in a little box. She used to have them in a box at the end of her hallway with the rest of our toys. And whenever we would get home from school, we would always play with these. The tree skirt I picked up from TJ Maxx last year. And then the little presents down here, I just picked those up from at home. Now, what you see up here on our bar area, this is our nativity set. So this nativity set was actually gifted to Robert or passed down to Robert by his mom and his mom got it from her dad. So this is a Thomas Kincaid nativity set, which he only made like a hundred of these guys. But every year we try to put this up for Christmas. These are very fragile, very expensive. Obviously 
Santa is not part of it. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love this. I love that he has something that is passed down from his family. And the snow that we have them on, I got that yesterday from Hobby Lobby as well. The two little snowmen down here at the end were childhood toys. So the only things that I picked up yesterday for my kitchen were this little spoon holder, this little snowman spoon holder. I thought this was super cute and we are always using our regular white one. And then I picked up this cookie jar, which I am obsessed with. I got this guy from Home Goods as well. Um, I actually saw one of the girls that I follow on Instagram, um, her username is a Southern drawl. Her husband had showed this in one of her Instagram stories when they were decorating their Christmas tree and he was recording her and I saw this at Hobby Lobby and I knew I had to have it, but it's just a little cookie jar. See, I haven't got any cookies in there yet, but so I need to. Last but not least, we have our dining area. My table runner is from TJ Maxx from last year and it matches my tree skirt perfectly. I put out some snow. Um, these little Christmas trees are actually votive holders or for tea lights. I got them from Yankee Candle like three, two or three years ago um, when they were having their end of season sale. But I don't like to put candles in there because I don't want the wax to melt everywhere. And then these little ornaments I picked up from Michael's last year. The pine cones are just some decor that I picked up along the way from work. The candy cane sleigh that I have here in the middle I got from at home. This was like one of the last ones. They had a bigger version of it too, but I figured a little guy would be perfect for our table. And then I've got the potpourri in the middle. Over here in the corner, I have this little trio of Christmas trees. I got these guys last year from Home Goods and TJ Maxx. They carry about the same stuff. And then this is actually our star that we are supposed to put on top of our tree, but the top of our tree is so flimsy, so I keep it on these little fake trees. And last but not least, we have this sign. I got this yesterday from Hobby Lobby and I am obsessed with it. It is exactly what I was looking for. Um, I love the green in it. I just love the whole thing all together. So two other things that I wanted to show you guys real quick. I went into Maurice's because I'm taking a trip next month to Missouri with my best friend for her baby shower back home. And it is really cold right now, so I need to stock up on a couple of items. I mean, it's pretty cold here in Georgia right now. It's staying around like 50 during the day. Um, but because it's Georgia and it's usually super hot, I don't really have a whole lot of sweaters left. So I picked up this guy yesterday. It is just a basic white cable knit sweater it's kind of boxy i picked it up in a size medium because i wanted it to be a little bit loose and then the second thing that i picked up was this super cute buffalo plaid jacket it is black and cream and it has a hood along with pockets as well I am obsessed with this. I picked this up in a size medium. I am obsessed with this jacket and I'm super excited that I got it. This jacket was $60 in store, um, but I had coupons, of course. And then the white sweater was $39. Um, but this jacket sold out like instantly online and in store. So I'm hoping that they restock it. That is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed my Christmas haul vlog. Um, if you have any questions, 
and want to know if anything is still in stock or prices of anything, just let me know. Leave it in the comments down below and I will respond to you. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great weekend and also have a happy Thanksgiving next week. Bye guys.